Scorebook Live here with Chiawana head coach Steve Graff, retiring after 23 years uh, as the head as a head coach, 37 years total. As you reflect on how long it's been, I mean, what what led you to uh, finally understand that that it was time? Well, I'm getting old, overweight, too much stress for. <laughs> You know, I, it was just time. It, I've been doing it a long time. Uh, I had thoughts of, you know, especially this fall when it was nice outside there, I could be could be in a boat fishing or, or down in a tree stand hunting. So yeah, I think it was time. Four state championships, two runners up, uh, a lot of league titles, uh, and most recently this year, obviously coming off a league title, was a part of it just kind of, being happy with where the program was at now and, and understanding kind of what there was to build off of going forward. Yeah, you always want to go out on top and, you know, you, you want to, you don't want to be fired. Those, there's people have said a long time, you know, there's two kinds of coaches, those that have been fired, you know, and those that go out on their own terms. And I, I thought it was, it was time. Uh, we had a good season. We had a good group of kids. Uh, we had some things that, that, affected our run in the playoffs, but uh, I thought we did well. You were the f first and only head coach at this school. W what did that mean to you? And just kind of taking a, a step back into when she want to open, walk me through um, kind of the decision to come over here and, and you know, the promise of, of uh, what could be built here at Chihuahua. Well, first of all, I live in, in these boundaries, so my kids were going to come here, and so – that was the, the biggest thing, uh, be able to coach my own kids and uh, have a chair that at my desk that has four four round wheels instead of three round wheels and one square one. So you uh, gonna get new all all new equipment, all new stuff. Get the you know it's a great opportunity to start a, start a new program. You started at Pasco in '97 and '98. You guys won a state championship. What was that season like? What, what are some of the things you remember from, from back then in your – what was that, your first season, the second season second as season. head coach? Yeah, well, the, f the first season we lost to Central Valley. Uh, they, we missed a field goal. I can't remember if it was a quarterfinal game or – I think it was a quarterfinal game. And uh, uh, actually I thought we were better that year than we were in 98. And, you know, the kids in 98 just – gobbled it up and, and did a great job and got over there and that, that was pretty cool that first one pretty cool what do you remember about being on that stage especially being on the sideline and, and having the head coaching duties well I had some really good assistants too you know that back then I was a little bit more involved I was a defensive coordinator then I fired myself here a couple of years ago as a defensive coordinator after Gonzaga prep put 600 on the ground on us or something like that. So, but I had good coaches. We had great camaraderie and good, good kids. And, uh, you know, I, that's what you, that's what you play for is to get, get to the dome before it was the King dome, you know, uh, coach spray who I coached with at Dayton, he went there and was it 92, I think. And I went over and sat in the box for him and yeah, that's a pretty cool deal. Over so many years, I'm, I would imagine a lot of it blends together, but is there, it, is there a best game, best comeback, any particular game or moment where the odds were stacked against you that stands out that you'll, you'll never forget? Well, that would be the Camus game, you know, when they, they went for it on fourth down and everybody in the yard knew who the ball was going to. and So we get it to stop, you know. Well, now we got to go score. And then how how this you know our receiver gets behind a guy Dre got behind him and scored and it's like wow that was pretty cool, and then we got this little sophomore kicker who hasn't done an onside kick all year, kicks it perfectly and we get it, and then the next thing that happened the poor kid on the Camus team had a club on his hand, our quarterback threw it right to him it went off him and landed in our guy's hands well. Well, we're supposed to win this. We might as well just go and go ahead and down here and score and win this thing. That was pretty, pretty cool. Uh, the 2000 team was probably the best group of guys that, that I've ever coached. I mean, as a as a whole group, those they worked hard. They were tough. They 
and I think they went 14 and 0 and 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 won that one and pretty handily I think in the in the championship game. Some of the other playoff games I remember the we played Bethel over here in the semifinal game and they had a kid that I think ended up going to USC and they kept fumbling the ball on the 20 yard line and we get it, the, the end final score is like 70 to 28. But I didn't feel safe with 70 cuz anytime that guy touched the ball, he had 28. We had 70, he had 28. And uh, we kicked the ball off and uh, kicked it right to him. Uh, he went down and got another one. I was I've never felt safe with a with a 40 point lead, and, you know, and scoring 70 points. Cuz you know, you get guys like that or that, that one sticks in my mind. Fall Friday nights going forward. Uh, will we see you on on the football field or uh, somewhere around the team, or do you plan to take a step back? Well, some of the games I'll come to. I'll have to come, you know, I'll be at the Richmond game. I'll go over on the Richmond sideline and stand with Nyhold and see how you know bother him. But yeah, I'll be I'll be at some games. But uh, in September. Uh, Fridays is a good night to be in a tree stand too. <laughs> that entered my mind a lot more this fall than it ever has. So, and that that helped with the decision. And and uh, you know, I have coaches. We go on fishing trips and stuff. We've gone on fishing trips in the summertime as a group, and those were always a pretty good time. And uh, you know, there's guys on staff I've hunted with for for years and. So I just, you know, it sprays up there. He retired a couple of years ago. He's he's up on the mountain right now. So <laughs> one of these days I'll be able to get up there all the time. <laughs>